Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. If you'd like to know how I created this lilac eye with glowy skin, then please keep watching. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with the Caudalie Micellar Water, and I'm just gonna start by putting that on some cotton pads, and I'm just gonna cleanse my skin. Then next, I'm going to take the Caudalie Beauty Elixir and I'm just going to spray my skin. I'm then going to take the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base. I'm just going to apply that on my skin. And then I'm going to take the Dr. Paw Paw in Original and apply this on my lips. It's really nice that just to keep your lips really nice and hydrated. Then I'm going to take a little mini MAC strobe cream in original and I'm just going to put this on my skin. I like to apply this all over. You can just apply it to the highest points of your face but I do like a really nice glowy base so I am going to apply it everywhere. So skin prep done and I'm going to move on to eyes. So I'm just going to take the RCMA um, foundation palette and this is in the series Shinto. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of the lightest color and the next one in. And I'm just applying that all over the lid and this is gonna act as our base for our shadow. going to take a fluffier brush and I'm just going to buff that in just to make sure it's really nice and blended all over the lid when that's all nice and blended I'm just going to take the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I'm just going to apply this all over our lids I'm just going to push this into my lid just to set that foundation that we used as our base. So once that is all set, I'm gonna start by taking the Charlotte Tilbury Exaggerized Palette, and I'm just gonna take this really nice like pink shade, I'm just gonna apply this all over my crease, and this is gonna be our transition shade. taking the Be Perfect Carnival Extra Large Pro Palette um, with Stacey Marie. So I'm just going to start by taking the shade Orchid and I'm going to apply this all over my lid. Taking the same palette, I'm going to go in with the shade Wasted, which is like a really nice lilac -y purple shade. And I'm just going to apply this to my crease and I'm just going to start to build up the colour there. So what I'm doing with this shade is I'm applying it in circular motions, starting in the outer corner because that's where I want most of the colour to go. And then I'm dragging it ever so slightly forward just so we get a really nice transition of the colours so that they blend really nice together. And I'm just going to keep building up that colour until I've got the intensity that I want.
guys, for the underneath of mine, I'm going to take this Charlotte Tilbury Eye Cheat, which is like a cream eye pencil, and I'm just going to run this through my waterline. Then I'm going to go back in with the shade Wasted and apply it to the outer corner. And then for the inner corner of the under eye, I'm going to take the first shade again, Orchid, and apply that to the lower lash line. Then just using a wipe, I'm going to wipe away the fallout from underneath. And this is where you can really drag that outer corner and create that wing. going to take the MAC Black Track Pro Longwear Fluid Line Eyeliner Gel and I'm going to create a wing with this. So just taking it on an angled brush, just going to start to create a wing. So now that I've created that wing, I'm going to do like an inner corner wing. So this will just elongate the inner corner of my eye. Okay, so that's the first wing done. So I'm going to now repeat that on the other side. I'm just going to run the Graph Black Technical Eyeliner by MAC just into my top waterline, just so that there aren't any gaps. So that one is with the black underneath and that is without. You can just see how it makes your lash line so much darker. So I've just applied this eye's lash, so I'm going to apply this one now. I am using the Lily Lashes and these are Mink Miami. So I've got duo glue on my lash band, just waiting for it to go a little bit tacky. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to place it in the centre and then push down the outer corners. So moving on to skin, I'm first going to take the NARS Tinted Moisturiser and this is in the shade Light 2, shade Alaska. I've just placed that on the back of my hand and then I'm taking the Illamasqua Highlight Brush. And then using a damp beauty blender, I'm just going to press that all into my skin. Still got product on the back of my hand, so if I need any more product, I'm just going to go back in with it. Once foundation is nicely blended out, I'm going to take the NARS Creamy Concealer in shade Custard and I'm just going to apply this under my eyes, down the centre of my nose, up onto my forehead, a little bit on my cupid's bow and on my chin. Then I'm going to take the RC May foundation palette again and take the third shade in and I'm going to apply this to my hairline. I'm going to put a tiny bit down on the sides of my nose and on the end of my nose. Then we're going to blend that all together, so starting with my under eyes first.
So next I'm going to take the Universal Bronzer by Chanel and I'm just going to start to warm up my face. This bronzer is so, so nice. It's really easy to use, although I have heard that they've now changed the formula. So this is discontinued, which is so annoying. Now I've finished using all my cream products, I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. This is in the shade 2. I'm just going to apply this under my eyes where we put the concealer. Next I'm then going to take the MAC Bronzer in shade Gimme Sun and I'm just going to apply this to where we use the Chanel Bronzer. And anything that I've used a cream for and then set with a powder so this is just gonna set that in place okay so for blusher I'm gonna take Mac Melba which is this really nice pink peach matte shade and then I'm gonna go over the top with this pink shimmer shade which is peachy keen so i'm just going to apply this to the apples of my cheeks so next for highlighter i'm going to take the huda beauty 3d highlighting palette and I'm going to take the pink shade and the gold shade. I'm just going to mix those together. And I'm just going to apply this to the highest points of my cheeks. Tiny bit on my nose. And on my cupid's bow. So for brows, I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Soft Brown. I've already done this side, so I'm just going to show you how I do this side. So I just, using a really, really light hand, create really nice hair strokes with the product. And I really like a soft brow, but I do like it to be really neat. I don't really like a fluffy, messy brow. What I'm going to do next is set my brows and I just used the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I just dust over them. It just gives them a little bit of a more natural colour so it takes away any harshness from the dip brow and just gives them a nicer colour and obviously keeps them in place all day long as well. For lips I'm going to take the MAC lip liner in subculture. Then I'm going to take the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Bettina and I'm just going to run this across the whole of my lip. These are my absolute favourite glosses, they are so so nice. Um, I had the original Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb and then I was shopping for it the other night to restock because I had ran out and I saw that there was a set with the original colour in and this one. Now this is shade Sweet Mouth. This is like a really nice neutral pink, but it's got kind of like a reflect in it. So I'm just gonna apply this all over my lip. They smell gorgeous. They're really hydrating on your lips. Just to finish, I'm gonna take my Caudalie Beauty Elixir again, and I'm gonna spray my skin. So that is my finished look. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching.